beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me, welcome back. So today I wanted to talk about a, um, a primer, two different primers, and compare them and give you my thoughts on the two of them, and um, let you know if I think there's anything different, if I think one is better than the other, or anything like that, or if they're not even worth it. You know, just kind of give my opinion on them, and um, I was asked to do this a while back ago, and I've just been behind on so many things, but um, I figured I'd go ahead and do, you know, just do a review, so it's like the the battle of these two, and the one is the L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur, it's the Instant Skin Smoother, I think there's another one out now where it's for people who have oily skin, I think, so there's that one, this one's the original. And then there is the Garnier 5 Second Blur Skin Renew Instant Smoother. So, and that's this one here. So, yeah, here's the two. Now, price point, they're both close to about... Kind of like the same, like close in around near the $20 range, maybe about the $20 range. I mean, they're, they're kind of pricey, but... Um, you know, there. I mean, yeah, there is other other ones out there that's not so pricey. Um, that's can can probably do the same as this. Um, I haven't tried them all. These are the ones I have tried, and um, so I figured I'd go ahead and give you my thoughts on them. So, the L'Oreal <clears throat> Revitalift Miracle Blur has been like one of my favorites. Um, I was kind of surprised because I wasn't sure how I was going to like it. Um, and it is, they're both, they're both the same as in, they're both, um, to, they're both to blur, uh, your pores and give you a more smooth, uh, look on your skin. So, like, your pores are hidden and it looks all nice and smooth. And a lot of times, a lot of people use these almost as their primer, basically and then apply their foundation, which, you know, that is what I do myself, and, um, they are, this one here, let's see, it says it erases the look of wrinkles, lines, and pores on the L'Oreal one. Um, on the Skin Renew Instant Smoother, um, Five second blur. Da, da, da. Try to see. Uh, apply after moisturizer. Spread a small di a dime size over the entire face before shake. I don't see where it says too much on that. This one as much as like this one, but pretty much they're supposed to do because this is instant skin smoother. So pretty much the same thing. Um. Okay, so this one here has always been like one of my favorites. I've had it in my favorites. I've talked about it many times. It's like my drugstore favorite um, for that type of product. Um, and then I got this one here afterwards um, and got to try this here. So the difference between the two will be quite obvious with, with them. This one comes out more of like a paste, like, sort of like a paste, I guess is what I want to say. Like when you're squeezing it out, it comes out like a paste, kind of looks like that, okay? And the Miracle Blur from... Garnier, if I can say it, is more of a moussey, I, mean, I don't know how well you'll be able to tell here, but this is the Garnier, it's more of a moussey texture, and this one's more of a paste texture, which what I usually do with the uh, Revitalift from L'Oreal, since it's like of that texture, is I will usually uh, smush it together like this, and then rub together on my fingertips, and then press in to the pores like all around here, around my nose, up in here, and just all them different areas, and I kind of just rub it all in. Which, hence, you can do this on top. 
you don't have to worry. Well, it's getting windy out there. You know, you can do it on top of your makeup. It's not going to harm anything. You know, you can do that if you want to. That's you know, to freshen up a little bit. And then the Garnier one is more of a moussey texture, and it's very smooth. You can feel, both have the silicone, so if you're not big on that, they both do have that silicone uh, feel to them. So, um, yeah, the Garnier one is of a mousse, get it out again, texture. And it just glides on. It like melts between my fingers and it, it is really nice. Um, neither one really has a smell. I don't notice any kind of smell. So, now, I'll be honest. I mean, like, now I used this today, and I do like this one pretty much still. Uh, but I think I really like the Miracle Blur a little bit more. I think I've, you know, kind of like enjoyed this one a little bit more. I th and, and the reason being, because I have heard other people say this, and I even thought to myself, because I, I, oh, Emily no no Noel, is that how you say her name? She had mentioned this. This reminds me in a lot of ways of my beloved Mally Beauty Poreless, Poreless Perfection Primer, which there it is right there. This is Mally's primer. Comes you know, in a real cute jar. And it's of a mousse texture. Ah, try to. It's of a mousse texture. Okay, and when I take that and rub it in, it feels close to the same, very, very close to the same as the Garnier Miracle Blur. It feels pretty much close to the same. I think the only difference with Mally and the Garnier one, could be wrong, I'm not sure, but... Because I know Garnier is known for skincare. I know Mally does have some skincare properties in her primer, and I love using this a lot of times um, at night after I do my whole skincare routine. I like to put this on at night to protect everything and keep everything working even harder for my skin. So um, I do do that with this one. Um, but I know Garnier is a skincare company also. Um, so really, all in all, the only thing I could say that would be different between for this whole comparison would be uh, price point. Uh, this is like close to $40. This is more, like I said, close to about $20-some dollars or $20. And the other thing is the skin properties. I think there is more skin properties. There could be a little more extra whatever to this than the Garnier but they do have the same texture feel to a tea practically that moussey but you can still they, like it has the silicone but it's very um, moussey and it, it just feels the same to me so I was like hmm, pretty interesting to find that one out because I had heard Emily Noel say that and a couple other beauties had mentioned that and I was curious so um, and then you know, yeah, with the L'Oreal Revitalift, I still think it's, I mean, like, I wouldn't say don't get it. You know, I think both of them are really great when it comes down to it. Great um, fillers for your lines, for your pores and all that kind of stuff. It's just going to be preference, you know. You know, you like, you know are you more a L'Oreal fan or a Garnier fan? Which one will work the best for you? Both work really good for me. I'll be honest. I don't really notice that much of a difference. Maybe, maybe the Garnier just a little bit. It's a little more smoother or something. There is a little bit of a just. I can't quite place it, but there's a little difference with the Garnier. And I think that's why it became a favorite of mine also now. Like, I, I still like the Revitalift, but I would repurchase the Garnier. So, um, I did kind of switch on that. So I'm thinking that could be what it is. Um, I don't know. Because uh, they both seem to make my skin soft. They both, um, like I said, do the whole blur 
So I think it's just the Garnier does just a little more blur, maybe. That's probably what I'm going to say, is there's a little more blur with the Garnier than there is with the L'Oreal. Just, just a little bit more. Like, it seems to um, really make my skin look poreless and, and everything. You know, like it just really is great. And, um, you know, yeah, preference would also be this one here is almost like a paste. That's how I want to describe it. I don't know how else to describe it. It's almost like a paste where this one's more of a mousse. So it depends on that, you know, for, your, for yourself. So I think they're both good products. Uh, just I kind of favor this one now, the Garnier 5 Second Miracle Blur. I really do. I mean, like I was kind of shocked because I wasn't sure because I had really been stuck on this one. But yeah, it's kind of taken over. So... Um, but I would, I would recommend both of them. It's just going to depend on what your preference is. So, and then those were my difference, the differences that I could, I probably could tell you. So, all right, beauties, thanks so much for watching. I hope this was a little bit helpful. I didn't know, um, you know, how many of you guys have tried either one of these? Have you tried both of them? Have you tried just one or the other? Have you been curious of them? You know, was this helpful? Any of them kind of things. Um, just let me know down below. Um, and thank you so much, beauties, for watching. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not subscribed to me, I would so love to have you. So go ahead and click the subscribe button. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. Until the next time, y'all take care and love you very much. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.